Hello everybody, welcome to Brainless Chaos, game number 18 against Dash Shideshow. So this could be interesting, couldn't it? Let's see how well built and how good it shows. Frostitude, that's funny, isn't it? That's what you call um, a hooker at the wall, you know, in Game of Thrones. Fuck, 722. So he's 720 even, so he's a good coach. He has to be a good coach. 13 Kaz, 12 taken, 17 3 in touchdowns for and against, so he must be a good coach. He's got the beer stand. He's got mighty blow. He's only got though. He's only got two mighty blows, which is good. He's got a thrower, agility four thrower, so that's no threat. Couple of guard, a jump up, so building long term and movement. So he's got two long term skills. Tackle, okay, isn't completely relevant because I do have the strength four blotch. Couple of blocks. So he hasn't got a lot going for him team wise. I think this is about as bad a um, sixteen twenty TV org team. As you're likely to find. Um, I'll just get a babe. <sighs> nearly went to, nearly went to concede, and then, yeah, my team three guard, good ball carrier, good killer. Um, that's all it is. Oh wait a second, try to get back to my inducements here. A babe, I could I could spend money to get something, but um. Maybe get a wizard. But I'm not really scared of a, 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 a agility 4 orc thrower. If he had blodge, maybe I'd get a wizard. But I think I should maybe at least get a draw against this guy. Hello, Grindel. The, team, the team's pretty good. 13-4-0. Top ranked at the moment. Three, guard, three block guard on the Warriors. Pretty good core. And um, killer's got block. And ball carry's got sure hands, so pretty cool. The only thing I need to do, I need to put the light on in this room because it's fucking green. Oh, then the light puts, ah, I don't know, it's fucking, it's weird, right? I've got two video capture sources and one has really shitty lines from the green screen and the other one doesn't. It's weird. I can't afford a wizard. Thank you, Blade Master. I was thinking of getting an apothecary and going down to 40k. Um, that's what I was thinking about doing. But... That's what I was actually thinking of doing. Um, he does have 13 players, so I guess... But two of them are shit. So... You know, I'm happy to remove anybody I can still. His only fouling threats are on the LOS. He's not going to want to foul with blitzers, especially these two blitzers. So I guess I blitz this guy. Because then he's really not going to want to foul with these guys, is he? Orcs are, orcs are always a tough matchup because they, they, they usually outstrength and outguard you. I mean, barring horns, he outstrengths me. And, okay, I've got three guard to his. No, no, we've both got three guard. Um, he's got a couple of mighty blow. Mighty blow can, can work wonders on, um, on beast men. So, you know, it's, they're always tricky. The only thing is I don't wanna get I don't wanna get stuck on them. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna claw pom the, the troll. I'm gonna claw pom the troll. Great to not have to face a wizard, isn't it? Um I guess put the strength on the line and then he's back to deal with things. So it's a bit anti-wizard, isn't it? Um, he can block him, at least get a push. If he doesn't, then he can block him, and then he can come in to make this a 2D. It's already a 1D, isn't it? could always just blitz him to get a 2D on him. Right. Oh. Cheering fans, this is really annoying this light here. I'm gonna have to have a bit of a shit green screen. Okay, safe moves first. Look at Fashbinder. Get excited. That's about as safe as I'm going to go. Right, really need at least a push here. Good. So the Blitz can be used on that Lino. Don't mind. Okay. 
Wow. Oh my god. KO. KO from Naked Man. is pretty good. Activate the claw palm. Double skulls. <laughs> oh, God. Shits and giggles, isn't it? I guess he doesn't use stand firm here, because otherwise my killer's way protected. Yeah. Good. He didn't use his apple, did he? But he regened the dirty dingo. A little bit weak here. Maybe I could move somebody further in case of the Le Double skulls. But wait, let's put. Let's jam jam up over there. Plenty of guys around here. A, a token threat here. And, uh, in fact, even over there. Because if he wants to try and run around the long way, he's, he's, I've got some bad news. Fail the pickup. Oh, yeah! Yeah, that was me playing. I, I did roll a double skull and fail the pickup. So, there, there was that. <laughs> there was that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A removal from a from a block man is good, isn't it? But um, that was that was a sure hands pick up failure and a double skull, and a double skull from the killer was more was more like my kind of rolling. That I've come to expect. Right, I'm just going to go and uh, and sort of this green screen for well, not the green screen, the lighting for a second. Yeah, blocking your hands didn't do a whole lot. Those those two turns. It's very true. Yeah, romantic lighting is, is essential. It's the hardest thing with green screens is getting the proper lighting. It's really fucking annoying. Yeah, the, see, he's just going to mans me. And he's got he's got more strength most of the place. I do have some guards, though, to throw in to even up the odds a little bit. Getting this guy around here doesn't really do a whole lot because I'm blodge. It's the mighty blow guy that's got to be taken down, isn't it? You can block him, so that's two guards ready to throw in here. I guess I'll blitz this guy because he hasn't got block. Um, which is good, isn't it? So let's just go straight for the straight for the claw pom blitz. Lulu style. Get the pow. Yeah, I think over here. Because I might want to stand there, I might know that. Warrior. Pile on, of course. Of course I want to pile on. Silly question. You should just be able to auto-pile on, shouldn't you? Like, um, like the good old days. Right, he can go there for a block there. It's a little bit um, dodgy, isn't it? I guess he could go there. And wrestle him. Oh dear. It's getting a little hairy now, isn't it? With no block. Well, I could have done this first and served him. That was a bit of a mistake, wasn't it, I guess? I don't want to make that block without block. At least I made... At least I did the brainless thing of making a, a claw pom blitz first. I guess I want people manned up to stop him getting out so well.
He's going to get knocked down anyway. So I might as well move him. Attempt to move him. Alright, good. Yeah, I could have surfed him, couldn't I, if I just hadn't done that blitz? If I hadn't done that claw on blitz first. I could have surfed him, just didn't even think about it. I guess the first, first game of the day, I'm not on top form. Yeah, Imperial Augustus, hello, it is, it is first game of the day. The shite show, <laughs> yeah. Shit comes as acceptable. <laughs> oh, that was really, that was really dumb of me, not, not doing these blocks first. I just didn't even think of it, you know? And I was like, if I had done that first, he would have been down, he'd have been on there. Would have surfed him, then picked up. And then this claw pond would have done nothing. Would, would have just ran here and could have maybe saved him. Obviously, he's just safest on the ground, though, isn't he? That's the thing. Jump up is his skill. He's going for the long term. The long term piling on my blow. <laughs> no regrets. The good thing is he can't foul him because he's only got one, one lino on the pitch. I mean, he could foul him, but it'd be fucking mental. <laughs> it would be, like, the craziest thing anyone's ever tried to do. Oh, I freed him up. Shit. I guess I couldn't really have stopped that. It, but he's... he's. If I can deal with these guards, he can get served. I've got to become a pixel hooker, haven't I? I absolutely have to become a pixel hooker. Lame. At this point in the team's development, I have to become a pixel hugger. Probably lose or draw me some games. I should have absolutely appled that if I wanted to win. Oh, so it's cost me. It's cost me a Kaz. So him having pile on <laughs> has cost me a Kaz <laughs> because I I would have served him instead of being Kaz by him. Two assists. I've got one. I could put this in for another one. Be a one die without. He can be in for another one. I have to, don't I? I just have to. Wait, did I not need to do that? Uh, maybe I didn't need to do it this way. Fuck it, I'm doing it this way anyway. That's a one. -er. Of course I fucking power him. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, that's okay. That's okay, I'm knocking him out. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind it now. <laughs> don't mind rolling the power now. Um Now the claw pom blitz. Let me auto pile on. It's so lame that you can't auto pile on, isn't it? Oh, you go injury. Good. Good the good the tactical pile on there. I'm so proud of my good play this game so far. Blocking with claw palm, blitzing with claw palm. Really really good tactics. Um I could actually just expose the ball completely. That's probably not the best idea though, is it? He can base him so he could dodge away for a one die on the ball. How do I not get based by him? Go here, then he could get surfed. Go even further back. Might as well. It's turn three. Can't be based by him. He could only base me. I'd ra At least it's going to take somebody to assist him there. So it's not so bad.
piling on for days. Oh yeah. Like, piling on was good there though, wasn't it? I was so bad though that he got that guy cast. Fucking could have surfed him, didn't realise. And he's got the beer stand, hasn't he, to make the surfs even more devastating. And now he's got two guys in pretty exposed with these with these strength four guards here. It's um he's in a pickle, isn't he? He's in a bit of a pickle. Blood ball one piling on always is amazing. Exactly, Grindel. Exactly. It's but it's the sad thing is it's not even <laughs> thing to do is it i mean at this stage i'm already up, i was already well i wasn't up two players i was up one player he was already down to oh no, I was i was up two players at that point he's down like seven on the pitch isn't he four five six seven yeah he's on seven on the pitch holy shit um so at that point yeah um the, all the ones that i've already got is the ones that i would go for jam toast ah oh, clever clever the double gfi to get that on Deal with a guard. Clever. Well, he, he's off. He's he's down a, a rookie black hole for the rest of the game, which is okay, isn't it? Shame that he regen. Whereas I've definitely got 11 max for the second half already. Well, how wanna. <laughs> wanna instead of doing this. Well, this is a wanna as well, I guess. But still, I would have rather done the one where it's against a guy with armor 8. Sup, Fagos. <laughs> he's super Fagos, that's what he is. This guy's in a jam. This guy's in a jam. No, he's not really. Yeah, he is. He could get sick. Oh my god, these fucking one dice pals. Makes three one dice as all pals, including a stun. Unbelievable. Unbelievable game. He can blitz him into him, but then I can't get enough people back. He wants to blitz him, but it's getting an assist for him, isn't it? Right, so stand him up first. Block, because he's got block. Get him away from the killer. <laughs> we can't foul him. <laughs> Bit shit that I have um, ex excavated. Um, oh, God. This is horrific. It's actually horrific. Man. I don't think he'll be able to serve. Just because he's only got seven players. It's going pretty badly. <laughs> but for someone who's removed four, I'm feeling like Lupac. Remove four players and everything's a bit tricky. Two double skulls though in four turns is unlucky, isn't it? Whichever way you cut it. I haven't made 72 blocks this game. So I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure in four turns I've made 72 blocks. So I think two double skulls is a little unlucky. Digital dingoes. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Disembodied hand. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, Valenik, he makes three one dies. That and look, it's not his fault. He's got to make those one dies. I'm not berating my opponent for. Um, he did feel the trolley regen brain on slugs. Um, you know, there's nothing else he can do than these one dies. So I'm not berating my opponent at all. It was just felt a little bit. Um, felt a little bit harsh. That was all. <laughs> A little bit harsh that he had um, to have rolled two double skulls where he's making all of his one dices. He's playing pretty decently, though, as you would expect from a from a well ranked coach. 
But this guy's getting surfed, isn't he? So he's got to do something to do with the ball to stop this guy getting surfed in a major way. And I guess he's going to think basing the ball might scare me. Um, but obviously, it doesn't scare me at all. This guy's still getting surfed. His black orc's still getting blitzed. Oh, maybe somebody else's. That, that, this black orc might get blitzed, eh? This black orc's probably getting blitzed. He gets to come back into the fight. Over here, maybe. One, two, three, four, five. Turn five. One, two, three, four, five, six. I do actually want to get forward. So I might actually just blitz this guy. Um, he can stand up. He can stand up. I don't want him to base him yet. Alright, go for the one in nine chance of failure first. Well done. Hey, yeah, good. Would you believe? So if I blitz him, um, I'm 50 TV down, freak. Trying to avoid chat at the moment, but um, yeah. So if I blitz, then go one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'm pretty in a pretty safe position, aren't I? Because I really don't want to. Um, if I would just block with him this turn, I would be happy blocking with him this turn. But then one, two, three, four, five, six means that I have GFI to score. With only one GFI at the moment, that's not something I really want to go for. So, let's just go for the Blitz. I've just given him a 2D there, and I said jam in this guard here. Gonna have gonna have to give up the one D on my killer, um, or two D on him. I guess a two D on him is preferable to a one D on the killer. <laughs> How brainless is chaos? Pretty fucking brainless. One, two, three, four. GFI, GFI. I guess. Oh no, GFI, GFI. I guess standing up the killers, somewhat prudent. In before double, yeah, in before quad skulls, yeah, that'd be pretty bad, wouldn't it? But yeah, that that's the thing. I would have just not cared about him and blitz with claw bomb, but I really don't have to make a GFI to score, do I? After after the two double skulls already, six players left. Get the hit. Somebody it might even get to make a block from standing up, so that's good, isn't it? Not enough turns for the warrior to surf the lineman. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just get him. Just get him off. <laughs> hey, it's I'm not. I don't just blame play. I don't just blame Chad for my misplays, but obviously, it is. It is harder playing, playing like this than that. Um. I will do Valenic, yeah, I will do. I will go. I will go back to Dark Elves at some point, absolutely. Oh, he's making the dodge to two dice the killer. That's worth, that's obviously worth, isn't it? It's obviously worth it to try and hit the killer. But he doesn't have Mighty Blow on it, at least. But, I mean, I, that was the thing. By standing up, I did give him that chance. Maybe I shouldn't have. Obviously, I've got my apple ready for him. Good. He's not banged on, and he's used his reroll. So actually, I get a block out of standing him up, which is ideal. <laughs> Just don't break armor, you motherfucker. This guy can get surfed. And I can't probably surf all of them. Yeah. I guess now I'd have to blitz to surf him, which isn't great, is it? Because I, oh no, I can block here. Man, red dice in me. What a motherfucker. But it's fair enough, he can't do anything else. There's better odds in doing that than anything else, isn't it? So, I'm not... Definitely 
not berating my opponent. <laughs> Ooh, don't care. It's not even. Look, honestly, there's times where I've just not looked at the board state because I'm just looking at chat. So I'm really gonna try to not look as chat, look at chat as much. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that if because it, it would absolutely do my head in. Is he BMing me? By letting his turn run down. I guess so. So he blocks him. Then he comes... No. And powers him. Or just pushes him away. Then he can 2D him. Then... Yeah, push him to there. Then he 2Ds him to there. And then I guess just surf him next turn. Yeah, maybe, that's maybe true, Glade Master. I've done that before, like, I've done that, had a quick turn, then gone and have a piss or something. So, yeah. Yeah, that's true, VIP Kurgo. No problem. Uh, yeah, I've done, I've done that before, to, to TBH. So, it's okay. Right, go here so that if he powers me, the ball won't scatter out. That's a good idea. Um, okay, let's not care so much about surfing people and care more about getting powers with claw palm. And third double skulls of the game, of the half even. Pretty, pretty harsh. Pretty bad luck. Pretty bad luck if you want to call it that. Um, but half his team's dead, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Um... He can block him. Good. And what I might do is actually, I don't know, I've got to go for the surf, haven't I? Okay, no more surf. He can blitz him down to protect the ball. Unbelievable, Jeff. One, two, three. It would just be a... Uh, well, he can't reach. So actually better to go here now, isn't it? And then there. And now he can't get there. If this is a double skull, he can only base. So that's not so bad. And... He can currently one dice him. If he stands up, he could two dice him if he gets up. So I don't know, I guess go here, make it. Do something. I'd have to make I'd have to make two I'd have to have use two orc throwers and um, where are the orcs? They're all all is that where they should be. Well, this guy regen unfortunately he got surfed. Um, th it's only three kills, so actually I've got a good chance to be down men in the second half because I'm already up to eleven max. He's got two reserves. You could also throw a teammate for the touchdown. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant, he went for the old, tried to foul you, Claw Pommer, and get, let him let him net another Kaz strategy, um, which is always fun to see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, that seems like a good thing to do, doesn't it? Three D can't have a triple skulls as well as three double skulls. No, good. good. Hey, I'm a brave. 
Makes the piling on better, even though I was never not going to pile on, obviously. Injury. Good. Lost two guys making that foul there. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he lost two. Lost two players making that foul. Unlucky, buddy. <laughs> right, but he does have the, the throw teammate chance. And um, and he also has just the chance to make chasms for the second half. So I guess that's why he kicked because he thought at least he'd have at least he'd have the throw mate, teammate chance for sure. No, <laughs> that's his turf. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? It's pretty good banging on people for a change. Holy shit. The rare, the lesser seen one game where I don't get fucked on. But there's still time. There's still time to get fucked on. Don't you worry about that. There's still time to get fucked on. Let's not get too happy. I think this is right. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's right. Maybe there's there's something to be said for going one back here, I guess. Yeah. That's probably going to be better, isn't it? Let's go there. Exactly, Amador. Exactly. You know? Yeah, like, okay... He's down to 10 at the moment, isn't he? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He's down to 10. But I could easily be down to 9 or less for the second half. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Ruggie 82. <laughs> that's true. Ooh, pretty cool. Today, today it's at least started well. Yeah, that's true. It's at least started to. Oh god. The goblin landing on the killer. Oh yeah, I should have put low. He's, he was probably going to ghost forward, so I probably should have put the high value players at the sides. Maybe. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Still a GFI for a shitty thrower. <laughs> Could get a touchback though or a catch, couldn't he? I guess. <laughs> oh, you mean your day? Your day started well. All right, fair enough, Elena. Yeah, apple crumble pie and coffee. That's that's pretty good. Yes, that's a pretty good start. One, two, three, four, five. GFI, GFI. The orc thrower can only make the pickup and handoff thanks to him getting quick snap, otherwise he couldn't have done it. Oh no, because he quick snapped the goblin away. So alright, it's not that bad. Fucking throw. Fucking throw orc throw. <laughs> Dirty bingo. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good day so far. Now it doesn't matter where the gobble is, Kyle Duda, because it matters where the troll throws him from. It only matters where the troll throws him from. So, I guess he could have done because then the troll could have gone forward one, yeah. But he couldn't have reached him with. A, he would have had to do a pick up with the uh, with a blitzer if he hadn't. But I mean, he's only made two GFIs here, so it's six and two threes. Yeah, I guess that's a fair enough point. If he moved the goblin one forward, he could have moved the troll one forward as well. That's true. I won't, Valena. I promise you I won't do that. I promise I won't do that. Right, oh fuck, here we are. Good. Shit, lands in a tackle zone. Doesn't mind. Gotta make loads of dodges. Oh god.
Five plus, he made his five plus landing. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Just gonna make a blitz first. Double skull, please. No, no double skulls for you. Oh, please fail one of these dodges or the GFI. Alright, good. Good. At least I set up properly to stop a one turn, right? Unlike somebody I could mention who got banned on because of it. Steve Fantastic. <laughs> that is good. Right. I'm tempted to set up like this again. <laughs> but I won't. Right. Um, I guess put the warrior here. So it's more symmetrical. I do like my symmetry. Zero guy's got to be in the middle to take the troll hit. And since he's got his mighty blow here, I'm going to switch these because he's probably going to keep his mighty blow. I think people tend to favour one side, don't they, if they favour one side. Brutal jelly ill. Uh, I, uh, my uh, my World Cup run ended because of a of a lizard one turn touchdown where I didn't um, where I didn't set up properly to um, stop it. Oh yeah, I should have tried to save the setup. Oh fuck. Yep. Sorry, uh, sorry, and Brit Augustus, I forgot. Dorf man. Yeah, pitch invasion really fucks you. Yeah, that's why I, that's why I get a jelly over. Because as annoying as a rock is, it doesn't lose you a game as consistently as a as a pitch invasion or a riot can. Uh, or cost you a game, sorry. As consistently. Obviously it can it can completely fuck the team. GG, thanks for the match. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I can get the guard in there, which is nice, isn't it? Double guard in no, not double guard. Blitz and then get double guard, no. Um, it's one place. He can go there and him there. Would, where do I blitz? Do I blitz him? I guess I blitz him. Don't don't even need an assist for it. Thanks, Corpon. See, horns pretty good, pretty good hornsing by hornsmen's. As much as I mocked, as much as I mocked Dode for saying they're OP because of horns, um, horns are actually pretty good. Oh god, I made a GFI. Didn't move this guy first. <sighs> Not punished for the misplay. Alright, he's conceding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. More money as well. More money. Leveled up warrior. Very nice. Um, 27 blocks, three double skulls. <laughs> 27 blocks, three double skulls. But, um... But then, on the other hand, obviously, making 4 cars and 3 KOs from 27 blocks is outrageous. But then, um, yeah. Yeah, Maiden Concede was last night, yeah. That's true. That's true. Right, let's see what this bastard gets. Hmm. Don't know. I'm tempted to go Mighty Blow on him. I really am. Um, and what about this guy? Hmm. I think I'm tempted to go block, even though I'd really like a dirty player. Yeah, this is a really good start. Brutal Savage, right? Would a BM foul before conceding? Yeah, good that he didn't, I guess. Um, Right. Not exactly bring the slugs. I mean, he had his team wrecked. Fair enough. Um, 
But yeah, seven two zero. Yeah, I guess maybe. That, but that's the thing. Maybe more reason to concede though, because he was seven two zero. You know, because he wants to protect what's left of it, left of his team. He still probably thinks he's got a bit of a run. Um, a dirty player would be nice, but with being on ten, I want to go bish bosh bash. Try to get another killer. Mighty Blow Clawlands would be good. Yeah, I do need a DP coat, you're right. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the next one. The next one to level is gonna be because at the moment I want two two chances to build a mighty blow dackle goat. Um <laughs> Yeah, well done, Jalio. Um Exactly Ruggie too. Extra arms time. <laughs> Um, right, so this is the thing. He's on eight, which is good, isn't it? And he is—he is my project player, so I could, I could funnel him. I could funnel him TDs as much as possible. Yeah, he did play well. He, he did. He played well. Okay, he played as good as he was allowed to play when he'd suffered two removals, turn one, and then all the removals. He tried to put pressure on the ball a little bit. Um, the one dice blocks weren't bad one dice blocks to make because it was all he could make. He was he was ultimately after turn one he was out strengthed, out guarded, and out clawed. So it was tough for him, wasn't it? Um the wrestle's gonna be the frenzy guy, so that, that solves both problems at once. Um So Yeah, he, he played he, honestly, I mean he was well there you go. He, then you then you only started watching when he had four players left and there wasn't much he could do to play well, was there, Jelly? <laughs> Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. But then he couldn't. It wasn't. He couldn't foul him because he only had two. He only had two linos on the pitch that could foul, and I didn't pile on near them. And obviously, I was lucky enough to KO one. And then while the other one occupied a block guard um, warrior, um, yeah, he wasn't. He was not given a good foul. So no flourish. I really don't want strip ball ever. Um, nah, that's very good. VIP, don't the killers? I'm happy to hear. That. Yeah, I've. That's what I would. That's what I really like on high elves. Yeah, definitely. That's what I was going to go for. Had my guy ever got to that level, right? So now, exactly, Omadon. Exactly. Some games it's just unplayable. Yeah, exactly. For for, for even even for elves, you know, I've absolutely murdered elves in the box, and yeah, that was what happened. There wasn't a lot you could do. Yeah, I just don't like strip. And who could have it? The wrestle frenzy tackle strip, maybe. But that's. I don't plan on my players getting to 76. Um, right. This is the question, though. What to fucking do on this guy? Because block... You know, I do like the reliability of just... You know, I, I made three double skulls that game. So I do like the reliability. But mighty, an extra mighty blow claw is something that I just want. I do want the extra mighty blow claw. He can get protected by the guard men's. And with mighty blow, he will level up faster to... Um, to, to you know, to chill out with his guys, and he's the project player at the moment. I just want to funnel as many TDs on him as possible, and I guess one of these two to try to be the um, killer. And I guess he can get one if he gets an MVP. He'll get one. I'm I'm not really fo focused on him. I want to focus on one of these two and him at the moment to get them, so I can have three killers. That'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? And should I go down to 90k and get the enhancement? Or should I just go down to 150? I think I just go down to 150. Yeah, 16, 20 with 12 players. I could even get a 13th player. <sighs> yeah, that's only the second MB. That's a good point, yeah. Yeah. Um, I could get a 13th guy here. Because it's, all, it, it's only two more TV, 16, 80. But it, I don't know, I don't know. For sixteen twenty TV, twelve men's is pretty. Is pretty. Um, it's pretty dicey, isn't it? Because I could play against two thousand, as you say, I could play against two thousand TV chaos right now. So I guess for that reason, let's get another another Fagor. Oh shit! That was a Slukfagor. That was a good. That was a. Oh, 
And that was a good one, I just went straight past it. We're Fago, alright. We're, we're all Fagors. <laughs> um, you'd get the extra man, yeah. I thought that was, was extra arm then, jumped host. I was like, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, 13 players is... Um, it's starting to look like a real team, even though it's only got the killer and the mighty blow guy. So I definitely need claw pom on this guy. Definitely need... Um, Definitely need, need to level these guys up to the mighty blow piling on. Um, and tackle. And definitely need to level him up to frenzy. So there's, need, there's definitely some work to be done. But 14-4-0 um, is looking good. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.